Octavia. You're right, that champagne did not help at all. Sit down. The fresh air will help. Ow! Ugh, what the hell? I hate this freaking boat. I swear on it. No, 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 don't touch that! Don't touch that! Whatever! No, don't touch that! Oh, oh, oh. 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 Kylie, don't touch him. You all right, man? Oh. Hey. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Brian, I'm so that sorry. That looked really bad. Oh, my God. Oh. What? What is it? Nothing. No, no, it's fine. Oh, my God. You're oh. lucky you didn't get hurt worse, because that's not that bad. Oh. Oh. Kylie, call 911. Mm. They'll, they'll call the feds. Gary will kill me. Maybe we should call him. He'll take care of it. We need the Coast Guard. We need them to help us, too. Uh, uh, now! Uh, uh, what the hell's happening to me? You're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be fine. Go get my bag. Oh, yeah. Oops. Okay, the fall broke your ribs. A segment of your chest attached from the rest of your chest wall. It's called a flail chest. That sucks. I mean, it could be worse, all right? Why is he breathing backwards? Backwards and breathing backwards? Paradoxically. What, he's breathing ironically? What? The flail segment of your chest is moving in the opposite direction of the rest of your chest. It's called paradoxical breathing. I want to breathe forwards. Make me breathe forwards. We're going to do everything we can, OK? You'll be just fine. His chest is going in and out. It's going in and out. Right. He needs mechanical ventilation, maybe surgery, and things we can't do. We can't do. That means he's gonna die. That means that we're. I can't die. Divya, I can't die yet. I've never been in love. I, I, I haven't been on The Apprentice yet. I, I, I can't. Stop I, it. Evan, you are freaking out. I know. What am I supposed to do? We're in the middle of the ocean. The captain's chest is a paradox, and you just said we can't do anything. What am I supposed to Listen, what? I said we can't do certain things. Fortunately, Brian is conscious, and he's breathing on his own. Okay. So what we can do is we can remain professional, and we can keep him comfortable until help arrives. Yeah. All right, the Coast Guard wants to know where we're heading. What's the heading? Brian, what's our heading? 196. 15 knots before we lost the sail. He said 196, 15 knots. Hey, Gumby, are you going to turn Gary in? Or, or more importantly, me? Did you just call me Gumby? No, not you. Um, OK, they're having trouble finding a signal from the boat. Oh, this is a scrambler. It was masking our location from satellites. The satellite? What? What happened? What happened? What happened? Divya? OK, he said that there was a scrambler or something, and then he just passed out. He has attention pneumothorax. OK, come help me. No, I'm trying to get us found. I prefer this job to one involving blood. What does that mean? His lung has collapsed, and I need to relieve the pressure, or it'll stop blood flow to the heart. OK, so his lung has collapsed, she said? Oh, my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Welcome back. Uh. OK, Kylie. Cut one of the fingers on this, OK? Then cut the tip off, all right? So it makes a tube shape. This isn't worth a lot. Kylie, I am trying to inflate his lung. Just do it. You have to do it, Kylie. This is a sign. I knew there was a reason why we weren't making it to the big ship. I should end it with Gary. Yeah, you should end it with Gary. No, there's just a situation here. It's hard to explain. She's, uh, she's using KY jelly on a rubber glove, and I'm not a medical guy. I don't know. She's, she has an elastic band. I just heard a hiss. <sighs> Hold on a sec. That inflated his lung? For now. OK, how long before the Coast Guard gets she here? She wants to know how long. They're working on it. Thank you. I can't wait. I need to stabilize his chest wall before he damages his lungs further or becomes hypoxic. And I thought my life sucked. So, yeah, you don't know where we are, right? OK, great. So just to remind everybody, we're on a boat in the middle of nowhere. So what exactly are we going to need for that? We need Hank. Can you see me? Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, here. Hey, he has a flail chest and multiple broken ribs. You see it? OK. Yeah, I see it. Look at that. We need to stabilize his chest wall, but I don't exactly have a positive end expiratory pressure machine on board. OK, you're going to need to get leverage to pull the rib cage back to his chest wall. Let me look something up. You're going to be OK, dude. We're working on it, OK? I promise. Right? OK, good. There's a splinting method you could try? Uh, a pulley system. Wait, we don't have a pulley system. It's a boat. We're on a boat, Hank. He's pulleys in the rigging and extras in the cockpit. All right, grab two, and you'll need some weights and a line to attach his chest to them. Well, uh, what should we use to penetrate the chest wall? Is there any is there any fishing gear on board? I saw a tackle box near the cockpit. Good, go get it. Divya, you're going to need something to sterilize with. There's got to be some alcohol on board, right? Plenty. The good stuff, too. I'll get it all. Screw Gary. Hank, this is Kylie. Hi. I'm the disgruntled mistress. Hello, nice to meet you. It's because I didn't go to college, and I hate retail. And alcohol. Go get it. Hey there, I'm Hank. I know you're in pain. We're going to take good care of you. OK, what do you need? 
What do you mean? Okay. All right, did you find a place to hang those? Okay, over here. What? You want to move his whole body yes. over there? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab his legs. Okay. Thank you. On three, one, two, three. Oh my God. Okay. It's gonna be okay, man. Let's go. See? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay. Divya, grab the biggest hooks you can find. Oh my God, okay. Oh. Okay, here we go. Insert the hook beneath the broken rib. Remember, the barb on the end will make it hard to pull out. Divya, you can do this. Nice and steady. Okay, what, are you sure that's the right spot? Like, how do you know? Evan, you're not helping. Just... I know I'm... Brian, Shh. this is gonna hurt. First hook, going in. Yeah, it's definitely in there. Yes, I know, there's a scrambler, but I've... How big can the ocean possibly be, on it? All right. I can't get the last hook in. Push harder. It's not working. All right, Evan, give Divya a hand. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't. You know that this is a medical business that we're in, right? Yes, I, hold on a second. Yes, asset balance sheets, me. Jamming fish hooks into people, that's you. Evan, this isn't optional. It's the last one, let's go. Yeah, make it happen already. Hello? Mr. Coast Guard, yeah, this is, uh, this is your fault that I have to do this. Here. Just pretend that it's a game of operation. Put the gloves on. Yeah, that's a really realistic game. I'm probably overqualified for this. Feel for the rib. Oh my god, it's definitely broken and disgusting. Pierce the skin right above the top rib. <sighs> Piercing it. Okay, Evan, you're doing great. Mm. Now ride the point of the hook around the back side of the rib. Ride the point of the hook? What the hell are you talking about? Evan, Evan, be careful. You need to stay close to the rib or you'll tear an artery. Do not tear an artery, Gilligan. Okay, why don't you just say no pressure, too? That would really help. Evan, focus. Yep. Okay. Oh Good. my god. Good. Follow the curve of the hook. It's coming, it's coming. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right, Evan. Hank, I'm attaching the hook to the line. Okay, great. Run them through the pulley and attach the weights to the other side. Good, good. Now, let them go. Oh my god, it's working. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take a nap, throw up. About seven times. 